my name is Leah with the L and um today I'll be showing a, a quick review how I um I love my hamster so I no well I'm just gonna show you a regular normal video um how on how to take care of your pet hamster or guinea pig it can be anything so you want to make sure you wash your hands after and before you touch them so if you like came from school or something you might want to wash your hands so they can catch germs and they don't want to die so you don't want them to die so you might want to wash your hands or you want to wash your hands after so you won't catch germs so that's like the first and the next the next thing that you should always do is always give them food and water, fresh food and fresh water every day. Because um, you do not want them to give you the same water and the same eating you know, the same food every day because I'll be like a little disgusting. Like you get new food every day. You don't eat the same food for that many. Like you have food for the food you have to finish it. So it'll be the same. You don't want that. So the next thing is if you put them in your bag, do not leave them in there for over than more than 10 minutes because um, they, they cannot stay in there more than 10 minutes. And the next thing, always keep your cage clean and always keep your cage closed because my sister, she always leaves the cage like this. I always catch her. She always leaves the cage like this. Either It, it used to be like the, because the bottle used to be right here, so you used to hold it, but she would still be able to get out, and then she would eat, leave it like this. So, I don't know if you can tell, but this one you can open, oh, this one's not in there, and this one is. So, that's how she always, that's how she still does leave the cage, I always remind her. Oh, and, um, about the tree. If you guys are wondering about the treats, these are sunflower seeds. These are, um, are, are chocolate, well, like, not chocolate, but sunflower seeds, um, um, coated with candy mixture for them. Like, it's like their little chip, dip chocolate bar or something like that. I don't know. But it's just sunflower seeds and it's some coated stuff on it. And I give her about five of these every day, um, because that's all they need. Right now she's drinking her water, so sorry about that clicking noise. And then, um, you always, this is not going in order, sorry, sorry. I clean out her cage once a week, and I usually use at least a scooper. Um, I got a new ball of bedding. You, and when you get your hamster, you want to make sure you have the right stuff for it. When I got my hamster, I didn't know I needed all this stuff. I didn't. It's taking. It's a lot of taking care of. Um, you need the cage. You need the wooden sticks. You need the. Um, you need a. You need to like at least get them sand baths every. At least every three or four weeks much and you need to get a um, new bedding a lot new food new treats um more of this stuff i have to get more of this stuff i had it i don't know so. if you're thinking about getting a hamster it's um it's a lot of taking less responsibility you got to make sure you have responsibility i got my hamster on july what I got mine in July 9, 2016, so she, um, right now it's September, so, and it's the 21st, so, I'm gonna count how many days she lived, and I hope, hopefully she'll live more than, um, one year, because they're supposed to live up to two years, but I want her to live up to at least three, I don't know, so we take care of her really good. So we need to get her a sand bath so she won't get cut, so she can wash herself a little. Yeah, they do um wash themselves 
a little bit by their self. They're clean. They clean their self. They groom their self. Right now, she's just grooming herself. She was just now. Um, I would at least have a playpen and a cage. If your cage is this small, I would at least have a playpen. That would be good enough. You would, um, you need, um, some tunnels for them. And you need some, at least, a good amount of toys or food in each of them. You do not, let me tell you something. They will overfill their self. Like I had this one person, she had a hamster and her hamster, his her hamster, she died because he was, he had a lot of hair on him and she didn't know if he was eating a lot. So, so, and he just put, stuffed his mouth and put it in his box and she couldn't see if he was eating it. He really wasn't. And then the next day he died. So you want to make sure they don't eat too much and they do not, and they have enough to eat. If they finish their bowl by the first day, that means you do not need to give them any more. That means that they're probably, you know, hibernating, but not. they just don't want to get up, keep on going to their food. So I keep the water, and I, the food's up there, and I keep the water down here so she can not have to go all the way up there just for water. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you have any more questions or anything about how you take care of hamsters or something like that, please comment and subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get a lot of subscribers. I do not have any right now. Please subscribe. Um, I love you guys. Bye. It's Leah with the L. Bye. Oh, yeah. Probably I'll see you next month. I do not know. I don't know. Probably not next month, but...